lines and angles introduction to euclid's geometry indian history of geometry history of euclid assumptions from euclid some definitions from euclid some axioms by euclid some postulates from euclid hello students today we will learn about the past of geometry and also learn about a great mathematician euclid our new lesson is introduction to euclid's geometry geo means earth and metron means major these two greek words form geometry which were often used while measuring land in the indian subcontinent the excavations at harappa and mohenjo-daro etc show that the indus valley civilization about 3000 bc made extensive use of geometry it was a highly organized society the cities were highly developed and very well planned for example the roads were parallel to each other and there was an underground drainage system the houses had many rooms of different types this shows that the town dwellers were skilled in mensuration and practical arithmetic the bricks used for constructions were kiln fired and the ratio length is to breadth is to thickness of the bricks was found to be 4 is to 2 is to 1 these examples show that geometry was being developed and applied everywhere in the world a greek mathematician Thales is credited with giving the first known proof. This proof was of the statement that a circle is bisected by its diameter. Pythagoras and his group discovered many geometric properties and developed the theory of geometry to a great extent. Euclid collected all the known work and arranged it in his famous treatise called Elements. He divided the elements into 13 chapters influencing the whole world till a date assumptions from euclid a solid has shape size position and can be moved from one place to another its boundaries are called surfaces they separate one part of the space from another and are said to have no thickness the boundaries of the surfaces are curves or straight lines these lines end in points a solid has three dimensions, a surface has two, a line has one and a point has none. There are some basic Euclid's definitions. A point is that which has no part. Line, a line is breathless length. The ends of the line are points. A straight line is a line which lies evenly with the points on itself. A surface is that which has length and breadth only. The edges of the surface are lines. A plane surface is a surface which lies evenly with the straight lines on itself. Euclid's axioms. Axioms means the assumptions which are considered true without any proof. 1. Things which are equal to the same thing are equal to one another. 2. If equals are added to equals, the wholes are also equal. 3. If equals are subtracted from equals, the remainders are equal. 4. Things which coincide with one another are equal to one another. 5. The whole is greater than the part. 6. Things which are double of the same things are equal to one another. 7. Things which are halves of the same things are equal to one another. Euclid's Postulates Postulate A straight line may be drawn from any one point to any other point. Euclid has frequently assumed without mentioning that there is a unique line joining two distinct points. We state this result in the form of an axiom as follows. Axiom Given two distinct points, there is a unique line that passes through them. Postulate 2. A terminated line can be produced indefinitely. What we called a segment, Euclid called a terminated line. The second postulate says that a line segment can be extended on either side to form a line. Postulate 3. 
A circle can be drawn with any center and any radius. Postulate 4. All right angles are equal to one another. Postulate 5. If a straight line falling on two straight lines makes the interior angles on the same side of it taken together less than two right angles, then the two straight lines, if produced indefinitely, meet on that side on which the sum of angles is less than two right angles. Summary In this lesson we have studied 1. History of Geometry in Ancient India 2. History of Greek Mathematicians 3. Definitions of a point, a line and a plane 4. Some of Euclid's axioms like 1. Things which are equal to the same thing are equal to one another 2. If equals are added to equals, the wholes are equal 5. Some of Euclid's postulates like 1. A straight line may be drawn from any one point to any other point 2. A terminated line can be produced indefinitely so that's all about this subtopic student. We will learn some basics of geometry in our next topic. Till then, keep learning.